Hello everyone, Kamato here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. And today, we have a lot to do before we go to the eastern parts of Hoenn. It's time for us to do a bit of cleanup. Starting over here with this HP up. I'm going to clean out as uh, much as I possibly can from the west part of Hoenn. Oh, by the way, did you know that you can encounter Pokemon while rock smashing? Yeah, it happens. I won't be able to get everything from the west part of Hoenn. But I'll be able to get a lot of a lot of it. So I'm just gonna head up here. Well, actually, but gives the mock bike for once. And stop. Find the super repel. Yeah, I never really went over it, but this is what the mock bike does. Uh, you can go uh, really fast on it, uh, faster than just even uh, uh, normal running speeds. But because you're going so fast, you don't handle nearly as well. So it takes some getting used to, but once you do get used to it, you can actually uh, ride around Hoenn really fast. Meteor Falls is one of the places that I uh, can't clear out yet. I like the power to swim up waterfalls. So instead, we're just gonna, uh, well, go along Route 115. I've already been here earlier, so there is actually an item that I got off screen. You can also get bloke berries here, but. Well, they didn't grow. <laughs> I picked those off screen too. My mistake. But there is uh, another section that we can go to via surfing that I will show on on screen. You get a super potion here. And yeah, we're back on the other side of those uh, ledges there, so now that we can surf, we can actually go to uh, Meteor Falls from Rustboro City. Shortcuts are awesome. Now we go along here. Well, there's some, uh, secret secret bases you can find here, but there's also uh, some more trainers, and even uh, grass, which you can find Wild Jigglypuff in. And this is the other expert I was thinking about. Ow! That hurts! Yeah, Hariyama is actually a pretty decent fighting Pokemon. If only for the fact that it has a lot of bulk. And you're just gonna keep using Vile Throw, are you? Unfortunately, uh, Alice just really isn't all that durable when it comes to defense. Ow. 
cut that out. Actually, I believe at this point, now that we've defeated Norman, I think, yeah, we can actually uh, participate in trainer rematches. You can't do that beforehand, though, so... It's only after you defeat Norman. It's an easy way to uh, get more experience and money. Not quite as awesome as the Versus Seeker, uh, introduced later in the series. But anyway, here we get Kelpsy Berries. Him go by for the moment, so I can gra go up here. Here we get TM1 uh, Focus Punch. I wonder if there's anything up there. You see, it's the mock bike to get up the uh, loose slopes. And there is an item up here Iron. Pels effect wore off. I, I think I'm okay for the moment, though. Always gotta check around for those hidden items, you know. Now I'll take you on. You! And True Blade says he has a bunch of. And the Machop goes down, just like that. But now he has a Machoke, the evolved form of Machop. If you want the evolved form of Machoke, well, you're gonna need to trade the Machoke. Oh, it survived. Oh. And Foresight is actually a useless move. Foresight removes evasion buffs, but uh, more importantly, it allows normal and fighting type moves to hit ghost types. Uh, there's another move that some some other Pokemon I can learn, uh, Odor Sloop, that does the exact same thing. And in later gens, uh, some Pokemon would get the uh, uh, move Miracle Eye, which remove which allows Psychic type moves to hit Dark types. And also we have a Pelipper, which is the uh, evolved form of Wingull. Uh, miss prevents stats reductions for uh, your, uh, I believe your party. I don't think it's for the entire, entire, um, hmm. I actually never used miss, so I don't know. But we've pretty much already seen, uh, uh, what miss does in the form of guard spec from our Norman's gym, so... It's something you should be surprised about. Unless you know your entire strategy revolves around debuffs. Refreshed and ready to go. Now, if we surf over there... We can get another item. PP up. Uh, this is a special type of vitamin that improves the power points of a particular move by 
Up to a maximum of 60%, though. And we're gonna be using that right now on Alice's Psychic. So that way, I get more uses of it. Oh, right, berries. Should pick those. Always gotta improve the berry collection, don't you know? Ever expanding, ever growing. Take a quick trip through Pellberg Woods here. Pick some more berries here. And we're gonna have an entire sea route to explore in a minute. First things first, going back into Pellberg because there's actually a Gotham or two I forgot to get after I got Surf. Get down over here and get an ether. I believe rare candy. All right. If I haven't explained it already, rare candy uh, bumps up the level of a Pokemon by one instantly. And yes, there is indeed something up here. Max Revive! Pretty much an improvement over the original Revive. Uh, revives have hit a Pokemon with 100% of their health instead of just 50. You also can't buy them either, so what you find is what you get. And now, for the surfing. Yep, we're going all around this, uh, going down this route here to go to Dewfort. And we're also gonna have a lot of trainers to fight here. Namely, swimmers. Ah, bubbles. That wasn't nice. Level 28, alright. And we're gonna be finding a lot of those. And unfortunately, I don't have any electric types to help deal with them. Well, I mean, I've got Shockwave and Thunderbolt, but I didn't teach any of those to my Pokémon yet. And now we've got Whalmer, which is a <clears throat> whale of a Pokémon. They have a lot of health, and I do mean a lot of health. Yeah, roll out. Basically, it's a move that, uh, well goes five turns in consecutive use. Uh, each time it hits, it uh, grows in power. Ow, one HP left. Darn the focus sash. Uh, 
but I am using Alice a lot in this uh, route to hopefully uh, try to get her leveled up. Great, it's a Carvana! Here of all places! Uh, again, since that's a water dark type, uh, well, uh, I can't do nothing against dark. Well, I should say Alice can't do anything against dark. No raging, please. Ah, I guess I didn't need to use Yawn. Whoops. Silly me. And if we go over here... I should probably heal up first. Probably should have brought more Super Potion with me, but oh well. I may be okay. All the way out in the middle of water, we fight a rune maniac with ground types. Ooh. Sandville's an ability that bumps up your evasion by 25%. Uh, 1.25 1. 1. times uh, evasion during a sandstorm effect. Not really all that useful by itself, but combined with double team and sandstorm, eh, well, you're not hating that Pokemon. Uh, later generations would introduce Sand Rush, which doubles your speed in uh, uh, Sandstorm, and Sand Force, which improves uh, the power of uh, Rock, Ground, and Steel type moves by 33% while in a Sandstorm. And all Pokemon that actually have these abilities of Sand Veil, Sand Rush, and Sand Force are immune to Sandstorm effects. And of course they get poisoned. Of course, you can count the number of uh, non-ground uh, types that actually have any of those uh, sand-based abilities on one hand. Let's use a berry to take care of that poisoning. If we come over here... Well, there's another swimming that we have to deal with first. Ah, oh, Magikarp! Ho ho, you! They should have evolved by now, but, eh, well, it's Magikarp. Ah, there's the tentacle I was expecting. And the uh, random right wind goal, just for the sake of having a wind goal. Yeah, one thing you might notice about the swimmers there, they don't give out a lot of money compared to, well, a lot of other trainers. Well, what do you expect? They're swimming, they have no pockets. Is there some, uh,. Power points to Psychic there, and Chevron found an item. Full restore, alright. Good prize. Yeah, if we go up here, that's the rock uh, the Brim Maniac was looking for. We can find a similar, similar rock in the, uh, in the desert there. In fact, I passed a similar rock when I was getting the Sandstorm TM. I wonder if those rocks will have anything uh, important inside them. Nah, probably not. They're just rocks, you know. Repels effect war off? May want to renew that. 
This item all the way out here in the middle of nowhere. Iron! And now we're in Route 106. Uh, Water Veil, Water Veil. That prevents burns, I believe. Ah, Super Soaker! My one weakness. Just kidding. And we, uh, well, we got protein here, but we're actually uh, very close to do for now. Which is my uh, next destination in this, uh, not quite so great cleanup tour. And yes, we can't catch him in the water, which is why he swam up to us to challenge him, challenge us to a battle. Oh, Not quite enough punch that psychic there. And we have another tentacle to deal with. And good, Super Sonic missed. Ow. So close. That's like 20 experience there. 28. That was close. Uh, unfortunately, we're not really going to be getting into any more battles here, uh, since we're at Dew Fort now. Well, we might get into some battles. I mean, but before I do my uh, cleanup in the Granite Cave over there, because that is where I'm going, we're going to need to make a swap. I kind of bull beat off screen, along with a barrel. The barrel will become important later. But I need a Pokemon that can learn Flash, and unfortunately, as great as Zigzagoon is, it can't learn that. So, clearly, it's fitting to have a Firefly learn fat Flash. I'm gonna need to actually see where I'm going, as far as, uh... Well, doing stuff in the Granite Cave. And, uh, again, I also, uh... You're also gonna want to bring the Bach bike with you. So this is what Flash does. It brightens up your uh, visibility radius. Yeah, I know, not impressive at all, right? But, yeah. We're gonna be needing this later, where it's actually gonna be more obnoxious. And these are all prizes that you could've gotten beforehand, but, well, I didn't. Mainly because I just wanted to get through the Granite Cave. Not that there was really much in the way of prizes to actually get, just the Pokeball and the uh, Everstone up there. But you can also uh, rock smash those rocks there, and you'll have a rare uh, chance of fighting a, uh, a nose pass. That's the only way you can find a nose pass in uh, this generation. Mock back away up here. Oh boy! We have cracked tiles. Can't walk or run over them. You just fall to uh, fall to the floor like so.
So we're going to need to uh, use the power of the mock bike. It does move fast enough to actually let you uh, traverse over those with a uh, little effort. Is there an item down here? No, not really. There's an item over there, though. Oops. Think of this as training for, well, recruiting an optional Sky Dragon much later on. But hey, made it through. It only took me a few tries. And our price of coming all this way is a rare candy. They also get a second Everstone if you are so inclined. But with that, we are done in the Granite Cave. Why can't I teleport out of the dungeon? That's what teleport is used for! Silly game designers. That's a good thing I brought all those uh, extra escape ropes with me. Still doing good. Although I'm gonna want Chevron back out for potential pickups. Now let's get to surfing along Route 107, 107. We're gonna have even more trainers to deal with. And since she has three Pokemon, I may as well uh, buff up. I was gonna say, if that wasn't enough. But Alice is going to level 30. Awesome! And that is another important level to keep in mind for uh, the Routes line. We'll see why after the battle. And at level 30, Krillia evolves. It is one of my favorite Pokemon from uh, Gen 3. Gardevoir. Gardevoir? Uh, I've never really figured out how to pronounce it. Gardevoir it is. And now that, uh, well, Alice has reached the final evolution, yep! Look at that special attack, look at that special defense, very nice, very nice indeed. Gardevoir is pretty much the not Alakazam of Gen 3. But it's one step better because, well, you don't need a trick for it. And we have a tentacle. Absolutely no chance. Yeah, I just wanted to show that off. And this guy is going to uh, fall asleep while in the middle of the ocean. Okay! Yeah, that's uh, a totally good plan. You have a double battle up there, if you're uh, so inclined to uh, take them up on that. Why not? It's been a little while since we had a double battle. It's 
sister and brother. And thanks to the lovely Intimidate, we're lowering one of their uh, attack stats. The one that I actually really care about. And Flail isn't... Yeah, Flail isn't gonna do much of nothing uh, at full health. And there's Strength in action. And that's that. I meet someone else who uh, said the exact same thing. Oh well. Carvana! And Dark is weak to fire, so this shouldn't be too bad. Awesome! Double 27. Yeah, at this point, I'm just running into the trainers on purpose now. I could uh, ignore them, but well, where's the fun in that? Anyway, this well, that might might not have ended well because grass fighting is four times weak to flying, and that wind gold definitely knows wing attack. But one headbutt was enough. And now we're on Route 108. And now we have a horsey. Pretty much another traditional uh, water type from Gen 1. Your super soaker is not effective against my uh, grass mushroom. Grass, grass mushroom, yes. <laughs> Neither are your bubbles. Yeah, well, I wouldn't know about that, I think. Complexity. Well, I mean, I guess I can understand it. I mean, people do like being complimented. I should focus on that, though, because it's another trainer battle. And Tentacle just does not have the uh, physical defense stat to uh, stand up to a headbutt. Not about Barrier, anyway. Barrier is a move that can learn that does raise its, raise its defense by two steps instead of one. There's also a similar move for a Pokemon called Iron Defense. Is there an item hidden here? Nope. But we do have this, uh, wrecked ship. We can't really do a whole lot in here. But I can at least grab the harbor mail. Yeah, they, gi they give that- they give that to, uh, me now. Uh, much later after I don't need it. 
the door is locked. Storage is painted on it. Oh! I didn't want to fight you, but fine, I will. You mind sharing some of that delicious HP with me? I think we're gonna need it. Delicious. Level 28. Awesome. And we get counter. Counter is pretty much a low priority move than normal. But if you take a physical attack, you'll re return a damage twofold to the enemy. Interesting move to have in sub Pokemon? Not an upper loom, no. And now we have a Machoke. Oh boy. I think we're gonna need some of the uh, bigger guns to deal with this. Done and done. And yeah, this is why we can't do a whole lot in a sunken ship. We need to be able to go underwater, and, uh, well, I can't breathe underwater. So that's kind of a problem. I can't grab this escape rope, though. get a dive ball here that well I won't spoil what that does let's just say it works pretty well in a quiet Pokemon oh I've uh, I've seen the uh, treasures aboard the ship and earlier playthroughs they're amazingly normal that's what uh, about all I can say Yeah, we're gonna be doing this rollout thing again. Rollout is a rock type move, funnily enough. And fighting resists rock. So, yeah, nothing but chip damage from that. You can grab a revive here. Always has to have those around. And we can uh, fight a couple there but I fought uh, more than enough trainer battles at this particular moment. We go over here, we can get a storage key. So I can at least break the storage before I have to leave. This guy's investigating the ship on Captain Stern, on Captain Stern's behalf. He's looking for a scanner. We're not getting that scanner just quite yet. So, alas, the uh, abandoned ship is going to be left incomplete for the moment. But for bringing the storage, we get TM-13. I forget what TM that actually is. Ice Beam! Awesome! That's pretty much the go-to uh, ice move. 90 power with 100 accuracy. But we shall be back at the abandoned ship another time. Maybe when I get some Moxie or something. But now it is time for us to... have our Super Repel not work. 
Holy fluff, level 31 tentacle. Ow. Well, that was unexpected. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get rid of that teleport at uh, some point. Alright, let's try this again with 50% less teleportation. Oh, 32 tentacle. What me? I didn't realize he actually uh, got this high level uh, on this part of the, uh, on the west side of Hoenn. Uh, Liquid Ooze, there is an ability that re reverses the effect of draining moves. Uh, okay, we're about back to where we were. Fortunately, it's just really a short trip. Now I was about to fight you. When I got ambushed by the uh, overleveled tentacle there. <laughs> it actually would be to your benefit to catch a tentacle that high level because they evolve at uh, either 32 or 33, I believe. And at this point, Alice's special attack is high enough to the point where I shouldn't need uh, to use a calm mind buff. takes care of that. I went into the abandoned ship, and I plan to return later. Ah, of course it's a Carvana. Something I can't take care of with Alice. Uh, yeah. Poison, poison. And we're at Route 109. We're almost back to a sleep port there. I'll save the uh, lovely couple for later there. Off-screen battles, that is. So now we have a random pockets of sand in the mix here, so now we're going to be running into fishermen. That's body slam in action. I'm just trying to get some Empress some experience here. 
and that didn't defeat it in one shot. Oops. I was going to get to the point where I'm going to want them uh, above uh, level 30. Well, not necessarily above level 30, but at least level 30. Paralyzation! Pointless move, because Constrict is, I believe, 10 power. So yeah, really weak move there. All for a somewhat low chance of lowering your speed. So let's see what it wastes over this way. An item! Another power point up. Uh, do I want to use sound psychic? Yeah, I may as well. Max out its number of uses. Uh, so at this point, uh, Psychic is now at uh, 16 power points, which is 60% above its maximum. Awesome. Ow. Oh. And if I try to uh, cure the confusion, it's just going to be supersonic again. I know that much. Yeah, that's what you get. Now I can cure confusion. Even though Goldine is another Pokemon that I actually can learn Super Sonic. But it's just gonna uh, resign itself to using Flail, which isn't gonna do a lot at full HP. Flail is the type of move that uh, does more damage and the less health you have. It's basically a normal type move of reversal. Normal type version, I mean. Although I believe uh, Flail's damage formula is... Uh, weirder than reversals, I think. Or they share the same damage one there, I'm not sure. Anyway, we have another win goal to deal with, and this time Super Sonic actually missed with its 55% accuracy. And it's a Carvana. Oh, of course they're, tra they're wanting trainer battles. Why did I expect the wise? Of course, one must wonder why they're uh, out in a little sand lot in the middle of the ocean anyway, if you don't want to take your eyes off your kids. Stuff like that can lead to drowning, don't you know? But then again, they are with water types, so they should be alright. And then Empress is the first one to break 100 health. I I think anyway. Yeah.
I'll give Blood Edge a little extra time to shine here. It's one of those Pokemon that just don't really become all that useful until uh, buffs in later generations. Mainly uh, the physical special splits, so they can actually take advantage of uh, stab and pure power at once. No, huge power. They do the same thing, so it's easy to confuse them. And in Generation 6, they become fairy types, along with being water types. And with that, we have made it back to Slakeport City! Holy fluff! I told you we had a lot to do. And I've been going at this for over 50 minutes. So, we'll actually finally explore the uh, eastern part of Hoenn another time. I'll see you there. Take care now.